Let's create a 3D skull for Halloween in Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my document size to 1080 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. Now let's go to File. Click on Place. Select the skull image and click on Place. Then click anywhere on the artboard to place the image. Now let's click on Window, then click on Align, and we will get this Align panel. Make sure Align to Artboard is enabled. Then click on Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. Now in the Layers panel, click on the lock icon to lock the image so that we don't move it by mistake. Then close the Align panel and select the Pen tool. Now let's trace the skull using the Pen tool. Let's start from this point. Click the left mouse button to create a point and then take your cursor here and hold the left mouse button and drag it to give it a curve. Once you're satisfied with the curve, leave the left mouse button and take your cursor to the new point and left click on it like so to break the bezier handle. Now repeat the same steps to trace the entire skull. Do you want us to make an in-depth tutorial on pen tool? Let us know in the poll which you will find in our community post. Once you reach to the starting point, click on it to complete the shape. Now select the selection tool and then select the shape and click on properties. Then come to appearance and click on fill and set it to white. Then click on stroke and keep it to none. Now let's reduce opacity so that we can see the skull image. Then select the direct selection tool and zoom it by holding alt and scroll. Now select the point you wish to adjust and then move it. You can also move the points by using arrow keys on your keyboard. This is a bezier handle. You can move it to adjust the curve like so. We'll adjust the remaining points now. Once you are completely satisfied with your shape, click on the selection tool and select the shape and make the opacity back to 100%. Now come to Layers and hide the path layer by clicking on this eye icon. Then select the pen tool again, and now let's create the eyes and the eyebrows in the same manner as the skull. Once done, select the selection tool and select the eyes and eyebrows by holding shift. Then go in properties, appearance, and set the fill to black. Now for the nostrils, let's use the ellipse tool from here. If you see rectangle tool instead, hold your left mouse button and it will open the other options. From there, select the ellipse tool. Now hold and drag the left mouse button to create a shape like so. Then. Select the selection tool and take your cursor to the corner of the shape so you can see the rotate symbol. Then click and drag to rotate the shape and make the adjustments. Once done, let's duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging. Then rotate and place the other shape as per the image below. Now let's create the mouth. Select the pen tool and create lines like this. To create a new line, click on the selection tool or can use the shortcut V and then again select the pen tool or use the shortcut P and create the other lines. Once you are done creating the lines, go in layers and unhide the skull shape layer. Now select the lines which we created by holding shift like so. Now go to properties and set the fill to none. Set the stroke to black. And set the stroke thickness to eight points. Then click on stroke and set the caps to rounded cap. It will look like this. Press control plus zero to set the artboard to fit to screen. Now go to layers and hide the main skull image, which we used to trace. Now, left-click, hold on the ellipse tool, 
and select the rectangle tool and create a square, like so. Now, go in Properties, Stroke, and keep it to None. Then double click on the top color square, which is your fill, and set the color you like. We will use this hex code and click on OK. We now have the background for our skull. Let's go in Layers, and click on the square shape, and left click hold, and drag it to the bottom, and then lock it. Now drag and select all your shapes like so, and then right click, and then click on Group. Now let's start with the 3D part. Go to Effects, and click on 3D and Materials, and click on Inflate. We'll get this 3D and Materials panel. Extend the panel by holding the bottom area and dragging it. And then we'll dock it to our right side like so. Now make sure your inflate icon is selected. Keep depth to 100 pixels. Check inflate both sides option. Then click on presets front and select off axis front. Now set the x axis to minus 10. Set the y axis to minus 15 and then set the z-axis to minus 3. Now let's go to the material section and set the roughness to 0 0.3. Now click on the lighting section. We'll keep the intensity to default. Rotation will set to 17. Height will keep default, and softness will keep 60. This is the ambient light intensity. We'll keep this default as well. Then turn on the shadow option, and set the position to below object. Then we have shadow bounds, which is like the fall off of the shadow. Set it to max, which is 400. I request you to save your file at this point by pressing Control plus S or by going in File and clicking on Save. Once you're done saving, select your 3D skull and click on this icon to render it using ray tracing. While rendering, it might lag or show Adobe Illustrator not responding or might even lead to Adobe Illustrator crashing. Just be patient and trust the process. In case if it crashes, reopen the saved file and try ray tracing again. And we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.